So what's up guys welcome back to TechMesh. Today we have got an exciting topic to discuss sharing files seamlessly between your Android device and PC using Google's nearby share. It's quick, it's easy and it doesn't require any cables. Plus it's supported by Google so you do know it's a trusted solution. So before we dive in keep in mind that the nearby share is supported on Android device running on Android 6 and up. For Windows it's available on computer running a 64 bit version of Windows 10 or 11 and up. But first what exactly is nearby share? Well it's a fantastic feature by Google that allows you to share files securely and wirelessly with nearby devices. Whether you want to share photos, videos or document, nearby share has got you covered. So here just go to the description and go to this link and then click on get started to download the software the exe file of nearby share for Windows and then just double click on it and click on run. So here you can see now. The software is installing on our Windows PC. Also keep that in mind that ARM devices are not supported and also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is required to have the nearby share running on your PC or laptop. So here we have installed the nearby share application. So we need to just search for nearby share here. And here you can see this is the application that we have just downloaded and installed. So just open this application. So this is the interface. So here you can see we have put the device name here and also here is the settings. So if you just go to the settings here you can see you can change the device name and also you can change the location of where your files will be saved or downloaded and you can also change the device visibility. So if you just click on here, here you can see you can select everyone or like you can select contacts and whatever you wish and then here you can see it is selected to use everyone mode permanently or temporarily. So you can choose any of them depending on your convenience obviously. So we have selected everyone received from everyone. So now here you need to also turn on your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for this software to work. So here you can see that we have turned on our Bluetooth on our laptop. So let's close this now. So here you can see it is saying ready to receive. So now we will head over to our mobile and we need to turn the nearby share on our smartphone as well. Okay, so now we are in our smartphone and in your smartphone you can usually find the nearby share at your notification bar at the top of your notification bar. Here you can see this is my nearby share. So I need to turn on Bluetooth. It is saying turn on Bluetooth. So let me just turn this on and now I need to turn on the device visibility here. So here you can see the same option is available contact everyone or your devices. So here we are selecting everyone and then click on OK. And now we can send any photos, videos or any kinds of file. For example, here you can see this is a photo. So let's say that I want to send this photo to my laptop. Then I will just click on share. And then here you can see the option nearby share. So I will select this option. My laptop names popped up Ruman's laptop. So here you can see I have just tapped on here. And here you can see that I have a notification received on our laptop. So we will just click on accept. And here you can see we have just downloaded the image. So it is pretty fast. You can like send couple of GBs videos in a couple of matter of seconds or minutes. So I would say that yes, it is pretty fast compared to the other software, third party software that you use. And if you want to send files from your PC, then you can just here click on files. And then you can select any kinds of file you want to send. It could be a photos here you can see let's say that we want to send this video so I have selected this video here it is a screen recording and here you can see that my mobile's name has popped up because I have turned on the device visibility on my smartphone and here you can see I have got the same pop-up menu here so here you can see I have just click on accept and here you can see that the transfer speed was really quick so yes this is a pretty impressive software so if you are an Android user and also a Windows user then I think this software is a must-have software for you on your Windows PC or laptop so if this video helped you then don't forget to hit the like button and also let me know that in the comment section below that if you already use this software or not. So that's it. I'm Mesh from TechMesh and I'm signing out.